Hello. Um, I feel like this is probably a really unflattering angle, but I just wanted to start uh, the footage now so that I don't forget later. Um, it's Monday today, and I thought I would um, do a couple of weeks of weekly vlogs for you um, because we're coming into summer. Um, I'm taking the dogs, or oh, I'm moving. Um, I'm taking the dogs on some adventures, and I thought you might want to come along with us. Um, I know that there are some of my subscribers that don't like the weekly vlogs, but recently when I went to Planacon, everyone who spoke to me about my videos said that they missed the vlogs and they missed seeing the dogs so i thought i would try and do some weekly vlogs for you like i said it's monday i've just finished work it's one o'clock and i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go to tesco down the road actually no i think i might head towards home and go to morrison's um pick myself up some flowers because i just fancy it and yeah, I'll catch up with you properly once I'm home. So I just got back home, it's now half past four, and I will tell you all about my absolute fail of an afternoon. But first, the dogs got a parcel from Button Up Box, so I thought I would open it on camera and show you what we got. First of all, the packaging is super cute. It got really destroyed. Um, that was Archie's harness. It got really destroyed in transit, but it's super cute. It says, there's probably an excitable dog behind you sneakily waiting to snaffle the goods. And the tape had um, dogs on it. And then when you open it up, you get a fridge magnet. There's leaflet in there, which is your guide to super fresh meals. And then there's this packaging on the top, which I'm going to cut into. So here is... The guide let's have a look so button up box are a dog food company and they create fresh dog meals using all healthy human grade ingredients in fact they are actually tested on humans first of all and um, they contacted us and asked if the doggies like mr archie here would like to try out um, some of their food for a week. I think it's a week's supply of food. And I, of course, suggest I'm considering moving the dogs on to um, a diet like this anyway. I've been considering a raw diet also. So I thought this would be a good bridge um, like between the two. So... I've put all the dog food in the freezer and I've been photographing um, stock for the shop because we did a show at the weekend so I had to adjust stock according to some of the bits that we sold and I have some new bits to photograph as well. I really want the shop to be back up by about 7 o'clock but it's quarter past 6 now and I've got a lot to list so it might not happen but um, I realised I didn't tell you my fail from earlier so basically this week is super busy. Um, with lots of things on and somehow I had got it into my head that I had um, a grooming appointment for Archie at 3pm so I ended up going to Tesco's after work to get some flowers and some food went over to my mum's house to collect the parcel that the dogs got and I thought to myself oh I'll ask mum if she wants to come to the groomers with me because it's at a garden centre and there's a cafe and I thought we can take Winnie as well we can go and sit in the cafe garden oh sorry my phone's going off I thought we could go and sit in the cafe garden and um, just have a drink whilst we wait for Archie's groom to be done. So I go to my mum's, everything's fine, she says yeah she'll come with me, so we drive from my mum's all the way back to my house to collect the dogs. 
Then um, I went wrong going to the garden centre like two times, nearly had two car accidents because I, whenever I have someone in the car with me and they're chatting away to me, I just get so distracted. It's mainly my mum. I just got so distracted and like I didn't take a turning I needed to take and then I just took it anyway and like it was ridiculous. I was getting in such a stress and I'm not normally like that when I drive. Um, so I was getting really stressed. Finally got to the groomers only to remember that actually my appointment's on Wednesday. So yeah, that was a huge fail. And actually what I did have today was a blood test that I didn't go to. So I need to ring them and apologise and rearrange it. And um, yeah, great. It's Tuesday morning and I'm just heading off to work. Um, sorry I didn't film any more last night. I ended up staying up until really late trying to get everything listed in the shop. When I said I wanted it to be done by 7 o'clock, I think I was delusional because I was up until like 10 o'clock um, and I still didn't get everything listed. So, I'm just off to work. I'm tired guys. Oh, the baby rabbits don't have any water. Hello, I'm back from work and um, I forgot what I was going to say. It's a beautiful day today, so the back door's open, the dogs are just wandering between the house and the garden. Um, Sorry, I, why, am, why am I burping? <laughs> um, we're working on the garden at the moment, so it currently looks like this. Basically, looks like a huge mess. So yeah, the garden looks like a huge mess, but it's because we're working on it and trying to make it better. Um, I've got quite a bit to do this afternoon. I also texted my friend and asked her if she wants to go on a dog walk this afternoon slash evening, but I don't know. Um, how long she's working for today so I don't know whether she'll be able to come but I might take the dogs out myself in a bit because the weather is so beautiful um in fact it might be too hot to go out now so it might have to be sort of like early evening I'm going to finish listing all the new stock on my Etsy shop and I'm going to put these flowers in a vase these are the flowers that I bought yesterday and they need to go in the vase in the living room. Hey, so it's now coming up to half past five and I have just finished editing photos, listing new stock, reopening the shop properly. I've just finished doing it. So that's taken me about four hours on top of all, my phone's going off as usual, on top of all the hours that I put in yesterday. So I ended up not getting anything else done this afternoon. What are you doing, Archie? Whenever I start talking to the camera, he has to come and sit next to me. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry that this has turned into another boring day. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Um, but in hindsight, maybe this week wasn't the best week to start doing weekly vlogs again because I really am sort of like so busy. Not necessarily, not necessarily, sorry, out and about kind of busy, but just busy in general um and i thought actually now i would just sit and give you a little life update quite quickly hopefully quickly i do tend to ramble let's see if i can put you down somewhere i don't know this is probably a terrible angle and the light's probably coming in really badly but um i'm just gonna go with it so basically part of the reason i'm so busy is because i have a job interview on thursday um and some of you guys will know that this time last year i quit my job um my first ever full-time job after uni 
I quit because it was terrible and they treated me terribly and um, I took the summer off and then in September I started working in an infant school as a one-to-one -one teaching assistant. Um, Archie's about to go behind the camera so I'm really sorry if you can hear snuffling. Archie please stop licking the camera. Um, so yeah, I started working as a teaching assistant. I really, really enjoy that job. I have loved my time there but unfortunately I found out recently that in all likelihood I'm not being kept on in September because they can't guarantee that they will have another child that needs one-to-one -one support who doesn't already have a one-to-one. -one. So basically I was devastated. Why has Archie decided to come and sit right next to the camera? Um, so basically I was devastated and um, that has meant that I needed to start trying to find another job. So. I've got a job interview on Thursday, um, which is at another local school, and I'm terrified. Um, the interview involves um, organising a one-to-one -one session, so that's what I've been trying to do the last couple of days. And now I need to get it written up properly, and I'm just feeling really nervous, really scared. I feel like I'm not good enough, like I'm just having a lot of self-doubt. Um, but also in terms of life updates, I'm also going back to university in September. I... Oh, Archie. <laughs> I decided to go back to the university that I studied for my undergrad degree um, with to study MA History, so to study for a master's degree in history, and I've decided to do it part-time, so I'll be fitting one year of work into two years, um, which will hopefully make it a little bit less intense. And for a master's, most of the teaching is in the evenings and at weekends. So I'm really hoping that it will work out okay. Um, you know, people who study an MA, they tend to have more responsibilities because the students tend to be that little bit older, so I'm hoping that it will fit around a school job really well. Hello, it's quarter to three and I've just got back from work. I nipped over to my parents' house um, after work to print off some, um, the words, the words have gone, to print off some documents for my job interview tomorrow. Ooh. It's a few hours later, we've all had a nap, and now we are off to our friend's house to see Bernie. You haven't seen Bernie in so long. Are you excited? Come on then, let's get ready. Had a lovely evening with Shannon and Bernie and now I've got myself a little Nando's takeaway so I'm going to enjoy that. Hey it's five o'clock and I haven't filmed today because I was so nervous this morning. I think I mentioned it before but I had my job interview this morning um, and it went really well and I actually was offered the job so I'm so happy, so excited. Um, Winnie's barking. It's very hot today, so I know I look terrible, my makeup's all melted off, but um, to celebrate getting my job, I'm going to go over to my parents' house for a barbecue. Um, I haven't mentioned it yet, but Will is actually away in Canada on a work trip this week, so 
yeah, I'm going to head to my parents and have a barbecue so that I'm not here celebrating by myself. Um, so yeah, I'll take you with me. We're at mum and dad's house having our barbecue, but Miss Winnie here <laughs> is in time out because she keeps eating strawberries off of my brother's strawberry plant. Don't you, Winnie? Are you naughty? Are you naughty? Yes, you are. Begging for food. Look at those tails. Begging for Uncle Liam's food. We are here and we are dog show ready, aren't we, Winnie? Winnie, come here. Winnie, what's this? Win! She's distracted. Too many things to look at, but we're going to get some shade and a drink. Looks like a good fate, though. Are you such a pretty girl? Hey guys, it's Monday morning and I'm just about to head off to work. Um, I didn't really film much over the weekend, so I do apologise about that, but Winnie's going to start crying. Be quiet, Winnie. Um, yeah, I do apologise for not filming much over the weekend. Um, let's go in the kitchen where it's lighter. Um, basically, we're having a heat wave at the moment and it was like over 30 degrees during the weekend and I just don't cope with the heat very well. Um, I'm doing better this year than I have done in previous years. But um, yeah, like Saturday we went to the dog show and I filmed a little bit of that. Winnie won second, by the way. I don't know if I um, showed you, but she won second place again. Um, but yeah, we went to the dog show and I got so sunburned, like my back and my shoulders are bright red and so sore um, and yesterday was father's day um, and I think I had a little bit of heat stroke to be honest I took the dogs over to my parents house to see my dad and everything and I just like vegged out there all afternoon because I just couldn't like, I couldn't do anything um, and this morning it was very hard to get up um, but I got straight in a cold bath dragged myself up but I'm sweating now like just standing here I'm sweating and I work in a school so I can't I can't go into work wearing like nothing like you would want to in this weather because it's going to be like 30 degrees again today. Um, yeah, so I've had to wear trousers and like a t-shirt. I know there'll be people there wearing dresses but like I just didn't have any dresses that I wanted to wear today. So this is what I've had to wear and I know I'm going to be so hot but... We will get through. I only work until one and then I can come home. But my house is like a greenhouse. It is so warm. It's actually nicer out in the garden than it is in the house. So, yeah, not fun.
<laughs> also, in case you're wondering, yes, this is going to be two weeks in one vlog because I realised that um, I said about my boyfriend being away in Canada and I decided that I didn't really want to broadcast that while he was still away, um, but I didn't really want to cut it out either, so I just figured I'd do two weeks in one. <laughs> Okay, so I got here a little bit early, so I'm going to try and ring the vet because um, Archie and Winnie have got their booster jabs today and um, I don't really want to take them today now because it's so hot, I don't really want to take them out in the car again because um, my vet is quite far away and um, oops, I haven't typed it right and also, Archie was supposed to be groomed last Wednesday, but the appointment got cancelled because the lady's little portable grooming truck thing was being moved, so she had to cancel her appointments, and he um, couldn't be fit in again until this Wednesday. So, where is their phone number? Oh my god. Here we go. I don't think they're open yet, though. Yeah, they're not answering the phone. But anyway, the point of that ramble about Archie's grooming was that he's really fluffy at the moment, which obviously isn't good in this heat, which is why I was trying to get him booked in last week. Um, but I don't really want to take him to the groomers while he's all, like, fluffy and panting and, like, stressed, basically. I don't want him to get even more stressed because he hates the vet. So I'm going to wait until after he's been groomed on Wednesday and then um, I'll book his jabs in again for after that. Um, but yeah, the really annoying thing is that I know that they open officially at nine, the vet. So I know that there are going to be people there and I know that the receptionists are probably sat at the desk, but just on principle, they don't answer the phone until nine. And it's really annoying for people like me who start work at nine and can't make phone calls during the day. But yeah, so anyway... I'll try and do it after work. But I finish work at 1 and the appointment's at 3. So then I feel like I've left it too last minute and it makes me feel bad. But I just don't want to take them out in the car in this weather. Hey, I am really hot. <laughs> um, it is 25 past 2. I've just got in from food shopping. Um, I had to buy a load of food because I totally ran out. Um, and I bought lots of healthy stuff this time. And I'm about to do some cooking. So I bought a muffin tray so that I can do some breakfast muffins for myself. Um, and I've got some yoghurt for overnight oats and the porridge oats are in there. Um, bacon and onions and eggs for my breakfast muffins. I'm going to put a casserole in my slow cooker for tonight's dinner. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on with all that now. Casserole is in the slow cooker. Overnight oats are in the fridge. And the muffins were a bit hit and miss. Some of them have cooked really well and some of them haven't. But um, I don't really mind. I've already eaten some of them and they were really yummy. I had those for my lunch. Um, and then the rest of them are going to go in the fridge and I'm going to have them for lunches this week. Excuse our junk-filled garden, but Mr Archie has been in his paddling pool. So he's all soggy. <laughs> And I can't remember if I told you or not, but um, obviously I did manage to cancel um, my vet appointment for today. And we're going on Friday instead. Is the paddling pool good, Archie? Hello. It is Wednesday now. I had another day off of filming yesterday. Um, I'm really not coping in this heat. I know I said it the last time I spoke to you, but... I'm really not coping very well in the evenings and I just felt like I was showing you like the same boring day over and over again so I thought I'll have a break and then I'll come back on Wednesday. Um, I joined Slimming World last night, I went with my auntie and joined up because I would like to lose a few stone um, that I've gained over the last couple of years so I think that's going to be helpful. Had a really nice breakfast this morning of fruit and yogurt and granola and everything so I'm really going to try and power through this week to have a good loss on my first week. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to head off to work and I will see you in a bit.